Hey guys, Ryan from Katana Paintball, and with me is Jack. Today we're going to be reviewing the Die I 4 paintball mask. Alright, this mask is made for the professional level. It, it's really, really light. Like, when you're wearing it, it feels like you're not even wearing anything. It's that light. And also, it comes with a quick, quick release mask that you can take it off in less than 10 seconds. I have to say, like, the packaging on this thing is pretty amazing. I mean, I know it doesn't really matter, but it's just still pretty neat that they, like, take time to do some really nice art on the box. Yeah. Like, all glossed up and shiny. I mean, it's pretty nice just to have that in your room. Looks of course, with all the colors, like collectors. Uh, white gold and black gold, the uh, black, a uh, black, white, red, and blue, and all the special other tigers and colors. Um, this is the gray tiger. If you don't know, but personally, my favorite color is the liquid, the liquid series, the liquid uh, white, liquid red, liquid uh, gray. Those, well, not liquid gray, liquid olive. Those were pretty much the best around. This thing comes in a very, like you can get this mask in a variation of colors: white, gold, dye cam, red, blue. Cloth red, cloth blue, gray tiger, orange tiger, tiger lime. I mean, but yeah. They, they make some really, really nice colors. And well, anyways, let's go on with packaging. As uh, it has a nice box, comes in like a kind of like a podium style. And inside the mask comes with a little Die I4 Invasion ditty bag, which comes with a warranty card, which was kind of bent from mispackaging, and I'm sorry for that and a Die 4 manual, which is like 70 page full color manual. It's very nice. Yeah, don't worry, they won't be as bent up when you get it. I think they'll have it like in the box. I forget how they Yeah, it's just um, user error. Whereas, let's go on with the Die 4 right here. As you can tell, um, this has some really neat features. Um, it has nice chin straps so it won't fly off your face. And another cool thing about this mask is the thermal mask. This thing will never fog up on you. And it's so easy to take apart, like watch. It's already out. Less than 10 seconds. And so uh, you can do this a lot faster if you're getting used to it, but uh, actually, I didn't really take apart my Die 4 mask for a while. Well, it's his. This is his, but. I've never taken a part of Die 4 mask. I've worn them in games, but I've, um, but I'm using other people's Die 4s just to see how they work. Oh. And I've never taken a part. And I just read the manual a little bit, and boom, took it out. It's like his third time taking it apart. If that says anything to you. Yeah, if you have your own Die 4s after like your tenth time, you, sh you should get it out in like four seconds. And as you can tell, very nice, clean, high quality lens. This thing will not break. Or anything won't fog, won't do it, it won't do anything. And take it back easy is uh, we'll take it back in is really easy too. Just slide it on one, slide it on the other, it's in. Pull these things back, and boom, you're done. All right, so basically, another cool thing about this is the nice, sleek design. As you can tell, it looks very professional, very nice, and it looks very sharp. One nice thing about the mask is, like, I mean, the slick look, of course, but is the um, vent system for where the air gets through. There's one here, and there's one on the side, and then another on the opposite side, one in the far back over in here, another one far back over here, and then one from above. And this one lets you it makes it so you won't ever fog up so you'll see everything perfectly so you can destroy people on the field without having any problems with your vision all right also ron you want to explain about your um you your background on the die for and like how you've used it for like many games and many days oh i've been using these things for a very long time and like never fogged up on me and i can see much more i remember my last mask i used it would just fog up and i would not know what the heck's going on yeah. I wouldn't even know where people are shooting. These things, I can see someone all the way across the field. I mean, 
it looks like perfect vision. Like, like when I wear them, it looks, well, most of the time, I barely even realize I'm wearing a mask. It looks like just perfect, clear vision. You only like lose like 10% of your vision when you wear it. And plus, it doesn't look that bad when like someone wears it. Yep, yeah, like there's- Of course, I get whacked up hair because my hair is long, but. That's his hair and his face, how it's big. Here, what it looks like on someone like me. You have the soft ear padding right here, so you can get some bounces. It may not fit the best on someone with a ginormous head, though. But it, I'm sure you can adjust it. And you have like a little chin strap here, you can tighten it or whatever. So it does, you have pretty nice forehead section, but for me, I have the GoPro sitting on top of my head, so. A lot of room for a camera. And this is what I like about the GoPro cameras, is it sits right, I don't like a one with like a big visor, like the JT Pro Flexes and all the JTs, because your mask will start flopping around because it's not on a flat surface. If you have something like a V-Force Profile or a Die-I-4, which does, not, does, which does not have a visor, you can fit a GoPro completely perfectly on that. The only time this mask ever gets hard to see is when it gets really dirty. Sorry. And if it's really dirty, like if you slide into a bunker and you get mud in your face, or, in, or you get a bunch of crap in your face, like leaves, like leaves and stuff, that's the only time it starts um, getting a little bit uh, weird to see, like it's a little bit blurry, but other than that, this thing never fogs. But you know, even when it does get dirty, you know, if you were using some other mask, let's say, that does fog up like crazy, then you you got all this dirt and stuff on top of that, so when you got the i4, it just makes it so much better, even if you just have dirt. Alright, I think we've covered everything. Um, I think we covered everything, so let's start with, with our opinion review, um, review and ratings. For a beginner player, if you have the money to get a Die 4, I would suggest you getting it because the Die 4 has great vision, it does not fog up, and instead of spending about $200 a mask to find out which one's the right one, buy the Die 4 first and you'll stay with that mask. A lot of pros use it. Yeah, you, you be, and if you're, that, I was just about to say that, if you're a pro player, get the Die 4s because the, it's made just for you. It's made to be sleek. It's made to, uh, to be on the speedball field. Same with the speedball player. It's I give it out ten out of ten for every single one I've said for beginner, expert, and speedball. Definitely for that. Yeah, this mask is definitely a solid ten. I mean, my only complaint is like lack of different variations. Like I'm a woodsball player, and it's still amazing. So it works well in speedball too. So multi um, use, but. I do wish they had more of a camo one, because the only camo one they really do have is more of a desert camo and... Yeah, the die cam, it's just more, looks like sand camo more than anything. And most of the places I go to play with ball have forest, like the one behind us, and... This is not a paintball park behind us, it's just my backyard, but a lot of our woods ball fields do look like all this brush. So yeah. And yeah. This is Katana Paintball, and thank you for watching.